All right, guys, second update for today. I know it's two. I was, should have just put them together, but anyway. I've um, got the brake pads done. They're done, dusted, and sorted. Um, the garage, I just had their business card, actually, is quite good. I do recommend them. Pneumaticos. See, I don't just give negative information. Um, the, the point being is this garage actually knew what it was doing. Um, I noticed it straight away when I went in there for the punctures, and they said it might be you know 20 euro 10 euros and then he took the tire away uh, and then he come back later he's, he's, he showed me he said look there's there's five things in this um and then he fixed it and come back and says no nah, it's only 10 euros but while they had the tire off I asked them to look at the handbrake because the handbrake was riding high you know it's right up here so i said to him uh, could you have a look he says oh, that's not the you can't adjust that it's um going to be something else it'll be the brake pads so when he took the wheel off to do the puncture, we had a look, and you could see they were worn unevenly. Um, so got that done, but the point is, he knew straight away. It wasn't a case of, ah, oh, let's take your car apart, and then we'll work it out afterwards, which is often what I get here, which is frustrating. Um, then we got onto the diesel filter, which will be useful for other people as well. They actually know how to deal with it. Um, they have a chemical burn, which is about 86 euros for, a, for, the, for the can, but I think that includes them actually doing it for you. Um, but basically, the diesel fields get clogged. Um, it, it's all to fudge the emission tests. I mean, I think this is, realistically, this is why Volkswagen and Renault and obviously Astra's got the same thing, Opel. Um, basically, they put the filters on. When it's at low revs, etc., it clogs up with crap. And then when you're on the motorway at high, high speed, high temperature, it burns it all off, in theory. But when you do a lot of local driving, it doesn't ever get up to temperature, which is why they sort of recommend that you shouldn't have a diesel if driving locally. Um, which seems a bit stupid, because in the sense of they sold all the cars and advise it afterwards. But anyway, not getting into that. So I was quite, quite happy, brakes are sorted. Uh, off to Madrid this week, um, so I might have some video footage from Madrid, depending on how I feel, like where I'm tired or not. Um, this is going to be doing some of the recordings in the near future to get rid of the wind noise. Um, it's it's a dead cat with a rodeo mic and a little, uh, what do you call it, camcorder, VHS camcorder. But I've a uh, JVC camcorder, but I've also got a my uh, DSLR 650D, which I can put on there as well instead. And the reason I would use that is I can actually change the filters on it, filters, lenses on it, so I can mess around with it a bit. So uh, yeah, quite happy with that. On to the restaurant. Um, the restaurant's been quite busy. I've got to admit, I'm tired. I'm not used to getting up so early. And when I say early, I'm talking about nine o'clock in the morning. Because um, I don't go to bed till about one o'clock in the morning. I'm a bit on Spanish time a lot of the time. Um, so we've been doing a lot on the restaurant this week. We've been looking at how it can improve it. I've been doing a fair bit of marketing. You may have noticed if you've watched my Instagram or seen the Facebook page I've been working on and other bits and pieces. Um, but it's actually had quite a good impact. There's been a lot more people going in there. Um, and the bread's selling well. So now it's got to that point where I'm having a chat with the owner, Lucius, to how we can make it grow. And personally, I think we need to introduce a few things. I mean, I know... Uh, the English breakfast thing is a bit, pff, bit, what do you call it? A bit Benidorm, I suppose. <laughs> a bit, bit too British, but in reality, it's what tourists want. So we'll be putting the the breakfast on there, putting the getting the English breakfast together. Uh, we're gonna have a chat and lock down the menu first, though. Uh, looking at some burgers, could we do some high quality burgers with the rustic bread or, you know, it's going to be made on the premises bread where we can. I'll say where we can because it, it all depends on the quantities and stuff. We'll have to have a look at it first. Um, pizzas, I've got to get into making it, but like I said, I've been tired. I've been, been busy with everything else this week. So I'll have to um, get on to that once I've got a little bit of time, probably next week. Um, school holidays have also started, that's the other thing. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, so we're looking at hot dogs as well, which I think will go down the route of the bratwursts and bockwursts. Um, 
so they're, they're a higher grade sausage. So there's a few things going on at the moment, a few things we're looking at. Putting the griddle in at the moment, there's a griddle uh, ready, so we're just installing it. Uh, obviously, you've seen the uh, the two. Uh, there's two ovens already. There's one which I think we'll be doing sausage rolls and Cornish pasties and things in, um, and the other one's going to be for the pizzas and the um, the breads. The pizzas, like I say, I've got to do a bit of work on that because I need to get up to a level that is sellable. I've got to practice with it, um, but I'm looking forward to doing that. Something a little bit different. Uh, what else have I been doing? The Toyveca Services.com is a work in progress but it's looking about 60 percent there um i've had to stop start it to be honest because i've been busy with this and then like now i don't know what time it is but i'm already knackered and i spent most of the day at the garage to be honest going backwards and forwards um but yeah i suppose it's this thing up here that's made me a bit tired as well this week because it's a lot hotter it's been about 30 degrees most days um Oh, that's the other thing on the bar. We started putting in things like uh, Strongbow Cider. I think we'll have to get some John Smiths and other stuff in there as well. Um, so, that's, so that's on the cards as well. So they, that's progressing. Um, there is other stuff we want to do later, but I want to get the, the, the bar restaurant um, up and running properly f first, and then we'll start adding more to it because one of the things I want to add in there is um, some, putting some shelving in there with organic things and um, you know like natural honey and um, local produce you know like getting the the peppers from Guadamar and um, stocking some some more stock you know natural because the thing is we've got, got the ability to make uh, natural juices as well so I uh, could do bottled natural orange juice and things like that so you can actually go in there pick up some fresh orange juice for the day and you get it, you know, basically fill it up. You go in there with a bottle, say, I want one litre of this or whatever, and we make it for you. Um, so, yeah, it's all it's all good. It's all busy. I haven't made any money this week so far, but um, there has been a couple of people doing quite well on... One of them's doing well on the crypto and another's doing well on the Forex, so I'm happy for them. Um, I'm hoping to get to a point where I can drop back onto that as well because it's, it's a good time to be in the markets. But anyway, that's a bit of an update for today and enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching.